projection of solid. A solid is a three-dimensional object which has length, breadth, and height. To represent a solid on a flat surface having only length and breadth, at least two orthographic views are necessary. Note. Sometime, additional view projected on auxiliary plane become necessary to make complete description of solid. Solid may be divided into two groups. Polyhedrons and solid of revolution. A polyhedron is defined as a solid bounded by planes or faces. There are seven regular polyhedron. Tetrahedron. Cubohexahedron. Octahedron. Dodecahedron. Icosahedron. Prism. Pyramid. Solid of revolution are as follow. Cylinder. Cone. Sphere. Let's take an example of pyramid having edge A and height H. Here, the pyramid is above of HP having distance T1 and in front of VP having distance T2. First, let's project the top view. In top view, all points are projected below XY line. Here, ABCD is the top view of pyramid and its distance from XY line is D2. Let's project the front view. To project front view, extend the all point from top view up to XY line. And further extend the point about the one distance from XY line and point P more up to H distance. Here, we get projection of front view of pyramid. Let's take another condition in which one edge of pyramid inclined at angle theta with VP. To get projection views, take a reference of first condition. First, rotate the top view at angle theta. Again, extend all the points up to reference line in FV and draw front view. Here, we get the projection of solid inclined at angle theta with VP. There are few more examples which are simply projected with previous method. Projection of cube inclined at 45 degree with VP and 30 degree to HP. Here, cube is inclined with both planes. Projection of cone. Here, cone is inclined at 45 degree to HP. To know more, sign up to www.linksy.in.